Hey, what's up everyone? It's G-Ball and we are here to do an unboxing and a, a little surprise at the end. Um, I'm carrying my new SMKW exclusive Hogue Deca in the gold marble carbon fiber and the DLC coated Magna Cut blade. Uh, I carried this today and put it through some material and it is it's it's a slicing machine it's it's unreal uh, how well Hogue does their edges and how well they're able to keep the blade stock so thin it's uh, it's ridiculous it's uh, I haven't compared yet but it almost seems like it's a little thinner than the Atom and the Neutron, which they are, and the uh, Quiet Carry Drift. Those three are very thin, and uh, this one is also very thin. I'll have to do some comparing. And I also had the EMP EDC Nimble W in the flat black handle scales and the DLC coated blade uh, M390 and I also carried the OG Nimble but I put that back in the case after work alright so first we have a package from Big Red. This is from a giveaway that I won on Saturday, I think it was. Uh, on the uh, Saturday Night Live with JB Big Red EDC. Shout out to him. Go follow Big Red on Instagram, Big Red EDC, and Big Red EDC on YouTube. Um, I actually forget what's in here. I know there's some stickers and some other swag, uh, but we will find out together what is in here. This is only the second or third giveaway I think I've ever won so I'm pretty thrilled should we so first got a Rosecraft blades koozie log and jotter notebook which this is my first experience with Log and Jotter, but it's almost like a right in the rain pad. I'm not sure if these are right in the rain, uh, like the right in the rain pads, but it's kind of what it reminds me of. I'll have to find that out, but I was pretty stoked to uh, find out one of these was coming. I've thought about <clears throat> signing up to get the log and jotters i'll have to look into that then a swag bag we can dig into it a little bit boy that is a mountain of stickers holy hell big red that is ridiculous tons of big red swag Big Red, Big Red, DLT, Little Metal Foxes, whatever that is, those are cool, SMKW, Siberian Husky 357, Call of John, Team Jelly Belly, Lancelot Leather, my man. 
Southern Edge Knife Works. Damn design. Cuba. My brother from another mother. Shout out to Cuba. QSP. Hogue. Andar, the leather people. Z Man. Shout out to Z Man. Finch. Eggs and ham. That's cool. Don't have one of them. Long Island Knife Guy. Some EMP EDC swag. Alley Cord Paracord. Shout out Alley. KC at Knives Fast. Thrifty Kniffy. Shout out. Blue Creek Knives. I got to get over there and get on the website and get some stuff ordered. Uh, they send some awesome swag too. SMKW, SMKW, Blue Creek, Voodoo Donut, said Stevie, shout out Stevie, love you brother. TPK, traditional pocket knives. And, of course, Zach Stuff. Shout out, Zach. Um, SMKW uh, cleaning cloth. Microfiber cleaning cloth. That's awesome. Petrified fish. Big Rosecraft blade sticker that probably won't fit in the plastic. Baron Sun sticker that doesn't exist. Another SMKW. to EOS which I believe those are the new ones in orange ooh and I got a, a Yonan's Edge shout out Yonan just did a live last night with Yonan that was fun did a 5 for 5 but the main star of the show is this guy here. I only have one other petrified fish and it is <clears throat> the beluga. Comes with a microfiber cloth. And I forget what this is it's a liner lock clip point blade it's a uh, DLC coded and it's got petrified fish micarta it's more of the it's a little smoother but it does have some uh some texture to it it's got a deep carry clip which they've redone from the beluga just a spring steel clip deep carry though that feels pretty good. Is this the have rod? I forget. No, it's not the have rod. Uh, 
I can't for the life of me remember what this is called. It has a fuller on the one side, but not the other. And then it has a flipper tab. This is a pretty cool little knife. Well, it's not little. That is a full size knife. I am going to have to look into some of the specs and find out what the name of the knife actually is. I know what it is, I just can't think off the top of my head. I know they put the Bunta out, the Havrog, and, oh, it's driving me nuts. I can't think of what it is. And why would they put it on the box? But it's a liner lock. Doesn't have much in the way of a pass through, but it's uh it's pretty easy to get your thumb in there. It's not bad at all. I uh I don't understand why they don't chamfer this out a little bit. Just just to make the pass through a little easier, you would think uh, before final production, they would figure out that it needs better access instead of keeping it almost completely flush. But you can get your thumb in there pretty easy and it's also pretty easy to manipulate unlock, reverse flick, the light switch is nice on this, can you push button it, yeah you can push button it too, sorry about my lighting also, I'm trying to get that figured out, I'm trying to get the lighting figured out and trying to get the microphone and camera figured out um so that will come in time and the next order of business other than the unboxing is this will be the entry video for the giveaway that is coming up next week uh, I'm giving away a knife and Gons is giving away a knife um, so we was gonna do it this week but it's Wednesday and we're running out of time so I'm thinking that we will do it next week uh, at some point on maybe Mattis Faction or said Stevie's live, one of their lives, uh, Wednesday or Friday of next week. Um, so you will want to leave a comment and a like on this video and if you're not already subscribe and that will be this will be the entry video for the giveaway so go down comment <clears throat> hit the like and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification 
I will be putting out videos every day, sometimes twice a day. So that will wrap this up. Everybody have a good night, and I will catch you all later.